When Gracie was born, she was born like any other normal child. But there's several calls that came on later through some complications. Complications. And because of that, she lost her hearing and also speech and sight. But the thing that I'm proud of with Gracie the most is her ability to communicate. Just recently it was Father's Day and she said through the computer, Daddy, I love you. When I talk to her and she listens and I ask her questions and she responds and that is, you know, when you can see those improvements, that's, you just get, it's really much a proud. Being a mum for you know, a child like Grace, the toughest part is trying to give them the best and seeing them struggle, trying to reach their potential and it's trying to get them to be the best that they can be as well. When Gracie has her Christmas, we put whatever present we have in front of her and we tear it a little bit so she, we can put her hand underneath the wrapper. And with great delight, she pulls as hard as she can because she likes the tearing sound of the paper. And I will tell you that she is happy with the paper <laughs> instead of the present inside. <laughs> with Gracie being able to hear, look, I'll just tell you that before all of this, before we've had this experience, you take it for granted, you take hearing for granted. When you see the difference between someone who hasn't heard anything and then all of a sudden they get given the sound, just a, it's a magical experience and I'm not just saying that. Everyone we've dealt with in here say, is a pure delight and yeah, very much like a family to us. Yeah, everybody should get behind and open the world for, for another child.